Hi, it's Retha and George back with Psalms. We hope you're doing well and getting ready for Divine Mercy Sunday. And we thank you for joining us. Uh, We will start with an opening prayer in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Jesus said to the twelve, Do you also wish to leave me? John 6, verse 67. Reflection. What does God lose if I leave him? Nothing. He does not need me. But I lose everything if I stray away from him. Everything for time and for eternity. And what does this do to me? My God, you are my happiness and my life. Let me always be near you and let me serve you faithfully, even though sometimes I may not succeed in seeing and understanding you. Amen. Amen. We will now recite the prayer to the Holy Spirit. Come, Come, Holy Holy Spirit, Spirit, fill the hearts hearts of your faithful faithful, and kindle kindle in them the fire of your love. Amen. Amen. We are starting with verse 106, Israel's Confession of Sin. Give thanks to the Lord who is good, whose mercy endures forever. You can recount the mighty deeds of the Lord. Proclaim in full God's praise. Blessed those who do what is right, whose deeds are always just. Remember me, Lord, as you favor your people. Come to me with your saving help that I may see the prosperity of your chosen ones. Rejoice in the joy of your people and glory with your heritage. We have sinned like our ancestors. We have done wrong and are guilty. Our ancestors in Egypt did not attend to your wonders. They did not remember your manifold mercy. They defy the Most High at the Red Sea. Yet he saved them from their namesakes to make his power known. He roared at the Red Sea and it dried up. He led them through the deep as through a desert. He rescued them from the hostile hands, freed them from the power of the enemy. The waters covered their oppressors. Not one of them survived. Then they believed his word and sang his praises. But they soon forgot all that he had done. They had no patience for his plan. In the desert they gave in to their cravings, tempted God in the wasteland. So he gave them what they asked and sent a wasting disease against them. In the camp they challenged Moses and Aaron, the Holy One of the Lord. The earth opened and swallowed Dathan. It closed on the followers of Abram. Against their company the fire blazed, fires consumed the wicked. At Horeb they fashioned a calf, worshipped a metal statue. They exchanged their glory for the image of a grass-eating bull. They forgot the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, amazing deeds in the land of Ham, fearsome deeds at the Red Sea. He would have decreed their destruction had not Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the breach to turn back his destroying anger. Next they despised the beautiful land. They did not believe the promise. In their tents they complained. They did not heed the voice of the Lord. So with raised hands he swore he would destroy them in the desert and scatter their descendants among the nations, disperse them in foreign lands. They joined in the rites of Baal of Peor, ate food sacrificed to the dead. They provoked him by their actions, and a plague broke out among them. Then Pananhas rose to intervene, and the plague was brought to a halt. This was counted for him as a righteous deed for all generations to come. At the waters of Meribim they angered God, and Moses suffered because of them. They so embittered his spirit that rash words crossed his lips. They did not destroy the peoples as the Lord had commanded them, but mingled with the nations, and it imitated their ways. They served their idols and were ensnared by them. They sacrificed to demons their own sons and daughters, shedding innocent blood, the blood of their own sons and daughters, whom they sacrificed to the idols of Canaan, desecrating the land with bloodshed. They defiled themselves by their actions, became adulterers by their conduct, 
So the Lord grew angry with his people, abhorred his own heritage. He handed them over to the nations, and their adversaries ruled over them. Their enemies oppressed them, kept them under subjection. Many times did he rescue them, but they kept rebelling and scheming, and were brought low by their own guilt. Still God had regard for their affliction when he heard their wailing. For their sake he remembered his covenant and relented in his abundant mercy, winning for them compassion from all who held them captive. Save us, Lord our God, gather us from among the nations, that we may give thanks to your holy name and glory in praising you. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from every la- everlasting to everlasting. Let all the people say hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Psalm 107, God the Savior of, of those in distress. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Let that be the prayer of the Lord's redeemed, those redeemed from the hand of the foe, those gathered from foreign lands, from east and west, from north and south. Some had lost their way in a barren desert, found no path towards a city to live in. They were hungry and thirsty. Their life was ebbing away. In their distress they cried to the Lord, who rescued them in their peril, guided them by a direct path so they reached a city to live in. Let them thank the Lord for his mercy, such wondrous deeds for the children of Adam. For he satisfied the thirsty, filled the hungry with good things. Some lived in darkness and gloomed, and imprisoned in the misery and chains, because they rebelled against God's word, and scorned the counsel of the Most High. He humbled their hearts through hardship. They stumbled with no one to help. In their distress, they cried to the Lord, who saved them in their peril. He brought them forth from darkness and the shadow of death and broke their chains asunder. Let them thank the Lord for his mercy, such wondrous deeds for the children of Adam. For he broke down the gates of bronze and snapped the bars of iron. Some fell sick from their wicked ways, afflicted because of their sins. They loathed all manner of food. They were at the gates of death. In their distress they cried to the Lord, who saved them in their peril, sent forth his word to heal them, and snatched them from the grave. Let them thank the Lord for his mercy, such wondrous deeds for the children of Adam. Let them offer a sacrifice and thanks, recount his works with joys of shouts of joy. Some went off to to sea in ships, piled their trade on the deep waters. They saw the works of the Lord, the wonders of God in the deep. He commanded and roused a strong wind. It tossed the waves on high. They rose up to the heavens and sank to the depths. Their hearts trembled at the danger. They reeled, staggered like drunkards. Their skill was of no avail. In their distress, they cried to the Lord, who brought them out of their peril. He hushed the storm to silence. The waves of the sea were still. They rejoiced that the sea grew calm, that God brought them to the harbor they longed for. Let them thank the Lord for his mercy, such wondrous deeds for the children of Adam. Let them exalt him in the assembly of the people and praise him in the council of the elders. God changed river into desert, springs of water into thirsty ground, fruitful land into a salty waste because of the wickedness of his people. He changed the desert into pools of water, arid land into springs of water, and settled the hungry there. They built a city to live in. They sowed fields and planted vineyards, brought in an abundant harvest. God blessed them, and they increased greatly, and their livestock did not decrease. But he poured out contempt on princes, made them wander trackless wastes, where they were diminished and brought low, through misery and cruel oppression, while he released a poor man from affliction and increased their families like flocks. The upright saw this and rejoiced. All wickedness shut its mouth. 
Whoever is wise will take note of these things and ponder the merciful deeds of the Lord. We'll stop there and we'll begin with Psalm 108 tomorrow. But we'll say our prayer for the protection in time of pandemic. Oh Mary, you always brightened our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain while remaining steadfast in faith. O oh, loving Mother, you know what we need, and we are confident you will provide for us as at Cana in Galilee. Intercede for us with your Son Jesus, the Divine Physician, for those who have fallen ill, for those who are vulnerable, for those who have died. Intercede also for those charged with protecting the health and safety of others, and for those who are tending to the sick and seeking the cure. Help us, O Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father and to do as we are told by Jesus, who took upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows, so as to lead us through the cross to the glory of the resurrection. Amen. Under thy protection we seek refuge, O Holy Mother of God. In our knees despise not our petitions, but deliver us always from all dangers. O oh, glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you tomorrow.